Hey guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. It is time for my book haul. I have a lot of books here because these all came from um, October and my sister was here for two weeks with her family and we did some book shopping. So because there's so many books, I'm just going to go through them. I'm not going to be giving synopsis on all these books. I will let you know where they came from. And that is that. So let's just get started here. This first one was sent to me by Harper Collins. This is called Bleeding Heart Yard by Ellie Griffiths. Um, I never heard of her. And this is a, a proof copy. So I guess I should get that one read and get it reviewed. This next book is from um, Book of the Month, the October pick, and I picked The Family Game by Katherine Stedman. I love this mansion in the back. I think that's so cool, and the colors are pretty. Okay, we actually also visited Barnes & Noble, so I've got several books from there. This first book is Scythe from Neil Schusterman. I really like Neil Schusterman's writing a lot and it's been a while since I read anything by him so I'm looking forward to that one um this one Home Before Dark by Riley Sager this is one that actually my sister purchased and then her daughter did like I think it's a blind date with a book thing at Barnes and Noble and they pick a book and it's wrapped they don't know what it is well it happened to be Home Before Dark so they didn't think they needed two copies so they gave me that one also, I got Come With Me by Ronald Melfi from Barnes & Noble, and um, I've heard a lot about Ronald Melfi. I mean, a lot of people talk about him. One of my Goodreads friends just read a book by Ronald Melfi, um, and she enjoyed it a lot. This is a horror, and I'm, I'm kind of stepping back from horror for a little bit because all of October was horror books for me, and I just kind of need to take a break from it so it'll be a little while before I get to that one and then these next four are just replacement books to my mass markets by Stephen King so I got Pet Cemetery, Eyes of the Dragon, love that book, Carrie, that cover is beautiful, and Christine so these are all going to replace the mass markets that I've got on my shelves so yes that makes me extremely happy Okay, the next four books here came from Target. So I got another Ronald Melfi, The Night Parade. Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I figured I'd give her another chance after reading Beach Read. Um, it was, she can write well, I just didn't connect with the character, so I'm hoping this will be different. And then I got The Cousins. Um, this is by Karen M. McManus. And don't let in the cold. I like this cover too. My sister and I both bought this one. Okay, and then I made an order from Better World Books, which I frequent that shop, and I just get, um, I get the trade paperbacks. I don't get too many hardbacks from them because, you know, they say on their site the hardbacks may be missing dust jackets and this and that. So I don't want to risk that from Better World Books. So. I picked up I Found You by Lisa Jewell, Sold on a Monday by Christina McMorris, The Last House on Needless Street by Katarina Ward, and All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. Ooh, that was a, got there from Target. Yes, you'll find books from Target. Um, through Better World Books because people just sell their books to this place. You can sell whatever books you've got. Okay, so that was that. Um, then I discovered World of Books on online um, and I wanted to check out them and I watched a video by Amber from over at Secondhand Reader and she was talking about Desperation and The Regulators by Stephen King. I have both those books, but I had Regulators in a mass market paperback, and then Desperation I have in the hardback. So here's Desperation, okay. I've had this book for quite a while. And then, 
she said that the regulars in that in the hardback matches the cover for desperation so i found better world books i'm like well let's look there i found this book for less than five dollars it was in very good condition and there it is now let me show you this okay um it goes this way so okay and look at this they match the pictures go together and i thought that was so cool and i got this book for less than five bucks and there's no tears in in the dust jacket the pages are still super white and just the in everything is just beautiful on this book and this came from a place called world of books and i was so happy with that for less than five bucks and I was like this is probably not gonna be in very good shape but if it's not it's only four bucks so it was like 471 or something and yeah look at it it's just it's beautiful and it goes with my desperation so that made me so happy thanks to Amber for pointing that out in her video I mean I knew the books went together I just didn't know they had matching dust jackets because I just had the paperback I learned something. Okay, and then from my favorite place ever to shop, over at um, Recycled Books in Denton, I got a really good stack of books. So I'm going to show you those now. And these Stephen King ones are replacement books for my mass market. So I got Insomnia. Look at the shape this book is in. I got it for $8. And it's just, it's beautiful. I got Needful Things. They don't always have hardbacks. And this one right here is a first edition. Um, people, you know, when they sell their books, they probably really don't think about getting rid of a first edition book. They're just taking them in there because they either need money or they're just trying to get rid of them or whatever. But that's a first edition. And then also I got another first edition, The Dark Half by Stephen King. So these are replacing my mass markets. All of these were first editions. Makes me happy. Okay, next I got two books here by Karen White. Uh, my friend Susan, she likes to visit with us at Recycled and she loves Karen White. And I read The Sound of Glass by Karen White and absolutely loved that. So I got The Beech Trees and I got The Falling Home. And I think these two are the standalones or two of the standalones. I hope so. Susan, correct me if I'm wrong. And then the last one I got from Recycled was Stolen Things by R.H. Heron. So this one's got a little bit of a tear on the dust jacket, but it's okay. Yes. So those were my Recycled finds. And the last place that we went... was um to Softer springs and i can't remember if i mentioned that in a video yet or not but it was a surprise for my niece riley to be able to go to colleen hoover's bookstore called the bookworm box and um i'll post a picture right here of that i took of the bookworm box um this is colleen's and her sisters i think all started the store colleen hoover has a book box subscription which was called Bookworm Box, where you get the subscription books like Owl Crate or, you know, one of those. So she ended up make, deciding to turn it into a store as well. And she helps out a bunch of writers and it's a nonprofit store. So everything goes to charity that they make on it and every book is signed. So we had a blast in there and I got several books from in there. So I ended up getting all three books of her slammed series all signed and I also got her maybe someday and maybe now books also signed and then I picked up one other book that was there that sounded good I love this cover it's called at the heart of it by Tana Fenske and of course this one is also signed oh, can you see that <laughs> So this one sounded really good. I love that cover. And 
that's it. We had such a great time at the bookstore. Unfortunately, Colleen was out of town at the time. That would have been a huge surprise for Riley, but she was out of town. I, I think she would, was in New York or something. I can't remember. So we didn't get to meet up with Colleen, but, you know, just being in the store was a fantastic um, surprise for her. And just the whole square around that store was just beautiful. It was just fantastic. We were there for quite a while. We found a place to eat there. And yeah, Sulphur Springs is a very nice place to go. So that is the book haul, guys. Um, if you've read any of these books that I showed to you today, please let me know in the comments below. But that's it for this video. Thanks for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.